Well, the deadly flooding that killed thousands of people in Libya last week was unleashed after a so-called medicane. Scientists describe this weather phenomenon as something similar to a hurricane or a typhoon that forms over the Mediterranean Sea. Now experts are warning that because of the global warming, medicanes like storms like Daniel may be intensifying. Uh, Kristen Corobossiero is joining me now with a little bit more. Sorry, Kristen, had to slow down my read to make sure I said your name properly. You are an associate professor of atmospheric and environmental sciences at the University of Albany. I have never heard of a medicane. Tell me more about it and why it is that this is sort of news to me and others. Right. So they happen quite frequently. There's usually a couple a year, um, but they're usually a lot smaller than hurricanes, but they do form the same way. Um, but I think we don't hear about them so much in the U.S. because they don't usually cause as much damage mm. as Daniel. They do bring heavy rainfall to Greece and Italy usually. Um, what's happened in Libya is a little unusual, but the storms themselves, a few of them do form every year. So are they, in fact, increasing in their strength or frequency? Are they getting worse? You know, it, it's hard to say. It's mm. hard to pin any one storm on global climate change or global warming. But we do know that some of the factors that are important in um, causing medicanes to form do increase with global warming, such mm. as the atmosphere being able to hold more water, uh, water vapor, so that there's heavier rain, the, the fuel of these storms, warmer sea surface temperatures, those are increasing, we know, with global climate change. So, yes, it is possible that more will form and they could be more intense um, and more impactful going forward. And what sort of damage are we talking about? You know, we saw what happened in Libya. What, what typically happens? Because in Libya, I think it was sort of outside of the norm. Right. Usually with these types of storms, they bring heavy rainfall. So this Daniel did bring heavy rainfall to Greece. Um, and there was before that heavy rainfall in Italy a, a week before. So usually it's, it's heavy rainfall, which we know can be very devastating from any kind of tropical storm or Medicaid. This was a very unusual situation um, with it hitting Libya mm -hmm. and bringing so much rainfall to an area with a dam upstream. Right, so that brings me to what happened in Libya was that the dam broke. The infrastructure could not um, handle what, what was coming. And I wonder now when you look at um, these sort of different weather phenomenon, and even if they intensify a little bit, if there are factors in place that bring you know, one extra storm, when you're talking about infrastructure that's kind of barely hanging on, we could see more and more catastrophic events. Is that something that sort of concerns you? Yes, I think where no matter where we are in the globe, our infrastructure isn't perhaps up to what's coming in terms of climate change with sea level rise, with the atmosphere being able again to hold more water vapor, heavier rainfall falling from these events. Um, it is very concerning that infrastructure all over the globe, not just in the Mediterranean, but wherever tropical cyclones or any kind of severe or extreme weather hits that our infrastructure may not be up to um, what's coming in the next, well now, but also yeah. in the next few years. Yeah. Uh, Kristen uh, Coral Becerro, thank you so much. Thank you.